that the earth was formless and bored and darkness covered the face of the deep while the wind from God. Do you know, a man, minus God, we are bored? And minus God, we are formless. And minus God, we are walking in darkness. And we need, there's a song that says, breathe on me. Somebody say it with me, breathe on me. Just in case you haven't opened the heart, let's open this door. Breathe on me, Lord. Breathe on me, Holy Spirit. God wants to breathe on us. Just like he breathed in a world that was dark. He breathed in a world that was formless. He breathed in a world that was covered, that, that, where darkness covered the face of the deep. And God just swept over it. There's some darkness in your life today that you've just been trying to figure it out. There's some darkness in the ministry today that you've been trying to work out. And God says, all you got to do is just, let, just welcome me to breathe. God says, I just want to breathe over your situation. I want to breathe over your sickness. I want to breathe over your marriage. I want to breathe over your health. I want to breathe over your finances. I want to breathe over your job. I want to breathe over your children. Let me in so I can breathe. I did it in the beginning. I did it in the middle. I'll do it now, but you got to let me breathe. God says, stop choking me. I can't breathe on you. You, you cho we're choking God out, and he says, just let me breathe. Just let me breathe. There's sadness in your heart, and I want to breathe in joy. There's grief in your life, and I want to breathe in happiness. There is unforgiveness in your heart, and I want to breathe in forgiveness. There is hurt in your life, and I want to breathe in joy. Got to ask you a question now. Am I talking to somebody who has let God breathe? You've let God breathe, 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 breathe. Let God breathe on your situation. There's some death in your situation. God says, I can breathe life. Some relationships have died. And God says, I can breathe life. I breathed it into a world that was dark. I breathed it in a world that was formless. I breathed it into a world that was void. I can take your dark, lifeless, void situations and breathe life. And so the Holy Spirit is involved in creation. God wants to create us into being what he wants us to be. I'm so tired of, I ain't doing it no more. Not only am I tired, I ain't being what other folk want me to be. I'm, I'm not being what other folk. You know, Pastor, you got your doctorate degree. You're supposed to be polished. You're supposed to walk a certain way. You're supposed to associate with certain preachers. You're supposed to cut certain, I'm a country boy. I'm a country boy. I raise chickens. I just am who I am. I am who I am. I am who I am. And, and don't let nobody create you into being somebody that you are not. Be who God has created you to be. If you allow the Holy Spirit to breathe, you'll be who you are. You know what I've, you know what I've learned? You know what I've learned? I can't be you. So if I'm trying to be you, I'm not you, and I'm not myself. So I don't know who I am when I'm trying to be somebody else. Be who you, who God has created you to be. He's involved in creation. But not only is he, the Holy Spirit is involved in creation, it's the Holy Spirit involved in teaching us. John chapter 14, verse 26. Look at the work of the Holy Spirit. It says, but the advocate... Is that what it says? It says the advocate, the advocate, the advocate, the advocate, you know, the supporter. Everybody, listen, listen, listen. Everybody needs a support team. Everybody needs a support team. But let me tell you what, I understand when I, when I needed my support team, I understand what the songwriter meant when it says, I went to my friends for consolation, and I found them complaining too. I just got back. I just got back last night from Los Angeles. I went to my friends 
son's funeral, shot 13 times in the head by the Oakland, California policeman. I got to the funeral. We all got to the funeral. About 100 of us from all over the country came to the funeral. Everybody, can I just talk? Everybody messed up. Stop thinking you in this thing by yourself. Everybody is messed up. Oprah Winfrey's counselor, who helped her get through the lawsuit down in Texas for saying she wasn't eating beef anymore. The famed and celebrated counselor, Rick Warren's son, commits suicide because I it didn't have anybody to talk to. Your, your daddy is, 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 is T.D. Jake's counselor. Your daddy is Oprah's counselor. Your daddy is Stevie Wonder's counselor. Will y'all hear me when I tell you everybody's messed up? And so we get to the funeral, and we're all there to encourage Broderick Huggins. But it was like a big counseling session because when we walked in, Broderick walked in fine. He walked in like a soldier. It was all of us who came to encourage him who he had to encourage. Everybody crying but him. Everybody weak but him. He's strong enough to stand there and do his baby's funeral eulogy. And he says, he says, I know you're wondering how I'm standing here. My support system is here. But it is the Holy Spirit that gives me strength to stand when I would be falling. I go to my friends for consolation and your friends got more problems than you got, but there is a support system. It says here, when the spirit of truth, it says here, but the advocate who is our supporter, the advocate is our, is our backer. Everybody says, I got your back. You better have your own back. The Holy Spirit has our back. He's an activist. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, he says, and I'll send him. And look, 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 look at God. You know, every now and then, do y'all know every now and then God kind of puts his chest out there? He says, I will send my son, and I'll send him in my name. God says, I will see. Look at God. Look at him. He puts his shoulder out there, and he says to us, I got an advocate for you. I know you're weak. I know you're tired. I know you're broke, busted, and disgusted, but I have an advocate for you. I have a support system for you. I have somebody to talk to you. I have somebody who won't go to sleep. I have somebody who, who won't tell your secrets. I have somebody who will keep up will keep your secrets and it is the Holy Spirit and he said look 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 at God he says and I will send him and then he says and I will send him in my name and then he says and he will teach you all things that you need to know and he will remind you of the things that I said look what the Holy Spirit does I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave this message in just a minute but he says I'll send the Holy Spirit and he will remind you of the things that I said. I'm tired of people telling me what you would do if you were me. Well, if I would, you don't know what you would do if you were, if I were, if you were me, you would do what I do because that's what me do. And if I were you, I would do what you do because that's what you do. But that's, when I, that's not what he sends the Holy Spirit to tell you. Even he doesn't, the Holy Spirit doesn't tell you what, the, what he would do. He tells you of what God has said. That's the kind of advocate you need. That's the kind of friend. Don't tell me what you would do. You from Florida, I'm from Memphis. You from North Carolina, I'm from Georgia. You would do differently. But look what this verse says. He says, the Father, he says, I will sin, and I will send him in my name, and he will teach you everything. And he will remind you of all the things that I have said to you. And you know what? 
all you really need to do is just be reminded yeah. that he's joy in sorrow. Yes, all you need to do is just be reminded that he's your hope, that he's your, he's your battle axe, that he's your horse pawing in the valley, that he's your wheel in the middle of the wheel. You just need to be reminded that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You just need to be reminded you would never walk off that job knowing that no weapon formed against you would prosper when you open up your heart and allow the Holy Spirit to talk to you. So he teaches. Somebody say he teaches us. Church is going to be better. Forget about your tradition. All of us got different traditions. All of us came up a different way. Forget about your tradition. Your tradition. What does God say? God says, I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I got it. Somebody said, he got it. He got it. You ask me, what do I know? I don't know nothing. All I know is that if we open our hearts and if we allow our, the Holy Spirit to control us, what is that song? What does that song say? Uh, I surrender. What's that song? What's up? I surrender. I surrender. I'm not talking about your money now because that's the least thing that, that God is interested in. I'm talking about surrender. Surrender your will to be strong, your will to know it all, your will to have the answer. Surrender your will. Somebody said, be strong. Forget about being strong. Be in the Lord and allow the Lord to be strong. You don't have to be strong. The Lord is strong. I don't have to be strong. Rashad does not have to 